Hi guys, this is Una Multicated and this is just a quick video on the theory test, the protocols and like the process of how to know what, what you pass and stuff like that and how to know what sort of things you're going to be expecting. So this is my uh, at the top left of it, like, it just says like, congratulations you've passed. You need to get 43 out of 50 for the, for the multiple choice questions and 44 out of 75 points for the um, hazard perception test. Need to pass both parts to be able to get the full like the theory. Um, so I got forty six for the multiple choice and forty seven for the hazard perception. But my look on the hazard perception is, you know when the hazard is because it's quite clear. But it just depends when you click. So my advice is if you see think you see a hazard click at least three times after because it at least kind of assures you you're gonna get one point. It's better than just clicking once and that could have been just before the five and you've only got nothing because you clicked before too early. That makes sense. So it tells you like what your incorrect answers on the on the name multiple choice. So my one I got one on attitude, one on safety margins and two on road traffic. And then on the next page it's like about the hazard perception. So it tells you how many points you got on how many points each clip you've got. So on the double hazard clip I got seven out of 10. On three clips I got five, on two clips I got four, four clips I got three, and one clip I got two, and on three clips I got one. So then, it, the like certificate thing looks like this, and then the paper just looks like that. Um, my best advice is, is you're gonna, if you're going to do a bit, practice and um, revise all the time. Like I got this app called the DVSA Theory Test on the Apple Store. Sure, they have it on Android as well. It was about four to five pounds, but it was really worth it. It was as close to the real thing as possible. Um, everything was accurate. It was easy to use. It had the highway code on it, so you didn't have to even buy the book to, to do that. Um, and you could revise it all the time. Only I'm answering this question because I got got a question the other day when I put like my picture of me passing me theory on Facebook. Someone said, "Is it like?" A GCSE or where you sit in a room and you get quizzed on it and I, definitely not it's not like that at all you walk in you give them your paper license and you got a license and you check your details as you date to birth you sit down read the declaration form of any cheating and stuff that will be classed as cheating like helping out etc you get called over to another person to check your paper license again you need to show them your phone's turned off you cannot revise or use any revising materials well, you, it, as soon as you walk through the door, um, you put your phone, your paper license, and then anything else that could be classed as cheating in your coat, and then you get given a locker key and you put it all in the locker. You get told to keep your pay, your card license out with you and put that in your pocket, and then you get told to walk down a little corridor or might be different in it, whatever test centre. Um, she checks your card license, puts it in the computer, and then tells you to check if that's like you. If it is, you do your test. It takes approximately like an hour. You can have practice ones, and I'd highly recommend you to practice ones as it can always just help you to get used to the system. Um, then once you're done, you just walk out the room quietly, sit down, you get called over. They don't even say like congratulations or commiserations. You just give you your form and go, you can go now. Well, literally, that's it. They also check your arms and all that for like any writing on it to make sure there's no cheating or. You haven't wrote any answers or anything on it. Um, you can do it online, on the phone, or like a form. But I'd highly recommend you get that app if you're looking to do it. If you've got any more questions, leave them in the comment box below. And if you pass yours, let me know and let me know like how you got on and if this video helped. If not, it's perfectly fine. If you've got any negative comments, that's perfectly fine. Um, just trying to give you a bit of information of what it's like because some people don't know also stay calm as well after i know it's hard to say stay calm because it's like a test but just think your gcse's are probably worse than that and then um, it's like you're just like doing an online computer test that g does not take that long um so yeah guys that's all i've got to say for now um thanks for watching bye